Y'all are really close up in my skin right now. But it's just a vibe. So let's do our makeup together. Shall we? So I'm applying the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer to my skin. So we're going to have two agenda for today. I already did my skincare routine. Please don't, don't sleep on your skincare routine, guys. So important. The older you get, you want to make sure your skin is sitting. I remember going to Sephora. So I went there. I was actually doing a lit makeup test just to see. I think it was a, I was buying a Sephora foundation. No concealer and so the girl that was doing the test and stuff she was like girl your skin looks amazing you know and I was like thank you so much I worked so hard on it like I'm constantly buying all types of things to put on my skin so that compliment like it really went to my brain <laughs> back again Doing our makeup and talking about random ish because I know a lot of you love the random ish. Where's my loose powder? Oh, there you are. So it has been really cold here for most of the days and it has been raining a lot. I feel like it rained like maybe four or five days out of the time we've been staying here. We're currently in Long Island. So we're spending um, a couple of days. It's basically the last of our trip. And we're going to a, I think a food festival today, and I think we're gonna see some family. But overall, it was such a good vacation. It was so needed. I think it has been our best. I wanna say it has been our best um, New York trip ever. I can tell you this much: is the older I get, the better my life becomes. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm so grateful to God for all His blessings. A lot of people always see that online or on social media. A lot of the time when people are like oh yeah it gets better with age or whatever but let me tell you my 20s was rough one of the earlier parts of my 20s was really rough so if you're in your like 20s and you're thinking that yo my life is so hard my life is not gonna get better it is is it gonna it is gonna get better and you know what makes it even better i mean the fact that like the blessings of the lord like come full full you know what makes it really really better when like you are changing and you're doing like you know all those things that propel you in, in the right direction you know that's the thing that really really helps so the older you get you're not being the same you're not you know not with the same lifestyle if you are somebody who used to like drink and smoke and go to rum bar or go to party every weekend and you know what I mean when you start looking at your finances and where you want to be in the next couple of years and you you know you just changing and I had to change a lot of things and I know I'm not even done changing the older I get like the more I'm gonna change um, I'm gonna see things from a different perspective I'm gonna do things differently you know but a lot of the changes that we made in our younger days in my younger days in my early 20s and my later my latter 20s because really and truly is when I became when I came into my latter 20s and start have a lot more sense if that makes sense but like I said my early 20s was rough I swear I was an adult I feel like we need to like raise the when you become adult and adult the age limit because in Jamaica it's like what in the world it's basically 18 but like at 18 you're still a child at 24 I believe 23 24 I was still like a child my brain was just not developed you guys and when I tell you it started coming together maybe around like maybe 27 if I'm to be honest I got married at 26 25 there was i think see i can't even remember what age i got married you know your figure would say yo you don't know everything and you just basically figuring out life and life is not over so a lot of the people who are thinking that oh i'm getting older i need to be accomplishing this by this time listen just throw it out the window and say to yourself lord if it's your will 
if it's your will let it be done and like and actually trust it trust it when you say it because a lot of things i was like lord if it's your will because i realized that i'm not in control of anything you know what i mean i can i can i can change my character zine i can't change my personality because that was basically given to me by god i don't want to change my personality but your character working on a character is everything and when your character when your character is aligned with you know the things of god and like you know integrity morals not lying not stealing dishonest all of those things and you know doors open up for you i can tell you that much and i'm speaking from experience i feel like i've said so much already and i'm just simply on my brows like stop worrying yourself about relationship or like oh I listen when i tell you i've been there done that like been there done that where oh you know i'm not gonna find anybody you look like all the good man them gone good man still out there you get me good man still out there and i'm telling you it's there a lot of people are saying man shot and i need to settle for this or that no you don't build a life that you want with your partner when you find that person build a life that you want um because we're so ever changing even in relationship let me touch on a little bit of relationship and marriage and stuff even in relationships and marriage and stuff like your partner as long as they're willing to to go that extra mile and that effort like both of you are doing it together like both of you want a relationship both of you are working towards it both of you are doing all the things that you you know propels the relationship forward that makes you really really happy as long as your partner is like on board with that and you can work with i'm telling you nobody is like this perfection the husbands that you see online like all right so the people who genuinely like show their lives and you can see where you know it's not fake because let me tell you something you can see the fakery in some relationships and you can know when they're really happy um or they're not by just some certain interactions but there are some that you know that it looks really really genuine and like the mother have come good for really can you like when you hear say something happen more them you know they're not together anymore or this one is a cheater is not cheat the woman good or beat the woman or whatever you know sometimes the signs are there you know like if you watch interviews with them and watch their youtube videos and all of them so the signs will there if they are fake it you know if it's not really all that Feel like this foundation is so much darker than my skin especially now like anyway we're going to fix it still we're going to fix it don't worry about it you can really know if the relationship is trash zine you can't hide oh, yeah so i was saying that like work on the relationship that you want to have with your partner and you'd be surprised as long as the effort is is the same like the effort is being matched both of you want the same thing trust me it will work don't just don't think about perfection like you're just thinking that oh i need a perfect man the man who knows everything a man who knows how to treat me right off the bat like look for the core values look for the core values you know does he open the door for you is he respectful you know is he like respectful to other people outside of you how does he treat his family those are the things that you really want to like focus on and think about um when you embark on finding that partner you know or even if the person that you're with today like do do a little observation and see how does he talk to people does he have integrity or is, does he have morals is he you know what i mean all of those things and i know some of those things some people legit don't care about I don't care if somebody's a liar and a thief or whatever. <laughs> Them just know that it. it's just vibes. But if that's what you want from your relationships, you can get it. I can't tell you that much. As long as that person like bringing to the table what you're bringing to the table, they legit care about you. They show you that they really love you. Like them not like 
abuse your trust. Always, always lead with honesty. Like honesty, no matter how bad you think it is. Like honesty, I can tell you from personal experience, it's the best policy. Growing up, I always hear that. Like honesty is the best policy. And I can tell you from experience in my life, like being completely honest with your partner, however bad the situation might be, be honest, you know? Um, I love it here in New York. Long Island is like such a beautiful area. It reminds me of the country. It reminds me of those TV shows where yeah, you know, movies are so when they live in the suburbs and everybody is kind of living, you know, houses are in close enough proximity but you're not as close i mean yeah it kind of reminds me of that for some reason it reminds me like you have to drive everywhere in long island everywhere so either you're gonna drive or you're gonna uber um yesterday we actually ubered to the mall and then we and it's predominantly white you guys like predominantly white this is a sephora concealer and when i tell you this is such an this concealer is so gorgeous and it's legit like 15 dollars 15 dollars i told the girl that i wanted a match that as close to my skin as possible and because some days i want to just conceal and go about my business but i don't really want to highlight if that makes sense um i'm not gonna highlight today either so yeah when we Uber to the mall, we really wanted to go to Target. Target was like, I don't know, half a mile or so. Like, it took us 20 minutes to walk. So, we were walking on the road, and when we were walking, I just felt like, yo, them people, I must say, I wonder where them my people here come from. What are they doing walking in this city, in this place? So, what are they doing walking? But when I tell you guys, I was just so... I don't know I, I like walking I don't mind like exploring I feel like when I walk I kind of know the place if that makes sense or it makes me more familiar with the place when I do a little bit of walking so I don't have a problem like walking wherever I go but I know like it just seems like an uptown bougie place and so like people must be wondering like what are these people doing walking Bronx if you guys hear some noise in the background my husband is in here I bought this sponge on Amazon because all the TikTok girlies are talking about it and it feels so so good on the skin you guys like so I make sure I try to get a couple of things well that I didn't have on my makeup game because I didn't have a setting spray and uh, I did that as much as we can we would have um like try and get at least most of the things that we need and and guess what that's another one of the reasons why I love like America our traveling to America um, is the door to door shipping. Like, it really, really irks my spirit every single time. I can tell you this much that it irks my spirit every single time I have to fork out my good, good money, knowing that maybe the place that I had bought from before I had to pay shipping for it. And then when you come to Jamaica, I have to pay shipping again. Next point let's talk about finances, okay? So earlier I had touched on the fact that, yo, my 20s was a little bit rough. Let me spray. I think I'll speak more in depth in another video. Um, just talking about finances. Um, get better. The better the finances get, the better the trips get. The older we get and because these are because this is because of decisions that we made earlier on basically i was in my 20s my husband in, in his 30s um and this is because of the decisions that we make so like i was saying before we're changing your life making decisions to change your life prior to like ascending to your 30s or you know or whatever thing our life is gonna look like to do but i can see where god has blessed us in that way with the decision that we that he helped us to make because it's really because of him why we made the decision that we did and he helped us through it so 
with no local sacrifice they have to make no local denying of self and all of those things to be able to spend literally two weeks in another country um you know and not bankrolled by a credit card i'm gonna speak uh, about this more i think i'm gonna do like a dedicated probably sit down video with you guys and talk about like what we did the process um and how you can begin to change your life financially i think i'm gonna do a full okay so the last so i need to add powder so i got this sephora guys stop sleeping on sephora collection because them things actually really good you know so i got this um powder this is the multitasking baking face powder so i've been trying to uh, not only apply like the loose powder matter of fact i should have applied this first before i applied the loose powder but anyway you know matter i just have to set everything my whole entire face with this powder um that's what i'm doing now And then I'm gonna go in with um, a little bit of bronzer <sighs> just warm up the eyes a little bit I think I have a yeah I have this little elf eyeshadow kit so I'm gonna use this brown shade and just warm up the eyes lightly dust it So I bought the Fenty Beauty. You see that tart chocolate? What everybody are talking about on TikTok? The Fenty Beauty one. Um, of course, if that's Fenty on there. I'm gonna buy it um, because I'm enough. Because I'm enough. So I bought that, and it's so gorgeous, you guys. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush because I feel like. No, no, I love blush. I just love blush. I love it, I love it, I love it. My hair is not giving anything right now. I don't know if it will give anything when I... What am I wearing? In the last two days, rain had seized and we got like a Jamaica weather. So the temperature was like 74. Everybody was outside, not in shorts and beer things, but today temperature drop again i think it's in its 40s so i have to make sure i dress warm because sis can manage you know once it drop under under 70 i'd say I, uh, yeah under 70 okay yeah see it here chocolate listen and it literally can feel the heat can you feel the heat and I hear you, I won't give nothing. So I might just put my, my wig on because sis is. You know, look too bad. Honestly, I'm sorry for people who can't wear them actual natural hair. Like, they don't like it enough to wear it out on its own. Sometimes that's my problem. But, like, you hear. That God has blessed you with is so beautiful, and I wish that more people would just embrace that. Like you just feel like you need it, but you need a wig. If you don't put on a wig, you know, feel like say yo, you are somebody, you know, look all that hotter, you know. You know what I mean? Anyway, remember to comment, subscribe, talk to me in the comment section because you know your girl is like I love to hear from you. And so much so much of you okay i think i need to fix this eyebrow yo one eyebrow is always giving better than the other eyebrow i mean i wonder if you put on one oversized thing and from i've been here i've not worn like a what you call it i've not worn like skinny jeans i pay oversized jeans because like when the days are cold i I have to put like a leggings underneath the pants. I don't know. 
I don't know. Anyway, let me put on my clothes and then come back for this. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you you took some notes from this video. I really was trying to be transparent and just overall helpful with you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.